I mean, you know, a lot of doctors that we talk to say, when we talk about cancer, they say if you live long enough, you're going to get some form of cancer. Is there a connection between that and the shortening of telomeres? Are those two connected? Oh, yeah. Getting cancer and Definitely. And I mean, it's a truism. So really, I like the car analogy because people get that. So if you drive a car off the lot and go 800,000 miles, you're going to expect to have to change the plugs, the mm -hmm. carburetor, you know, whatever, the exhaust. Uh, so just so, if you could survive every disease, eventually you'd collect them all. You know? Mm -hmm. If you live to 400, you're probably going to get prostate cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, and it, again, it's the same process. The erosion of the telomeres allows for critical shortening and then the DNA gets jumbled. And once it gets jumbled, you have the potential for cancer. But you also have the potential for that cell killing itself too. So a lot of people think cancer is very um, robust, but it probably is created many times in your life. Mm -hmm. That would be an interesting number to know whether you've had cancer once, a million times, a billion times because um, it's really only the cancers that persist and are not self-destructive or destroyed that, and, and that we can't efficiently kill off that we consider to be cancer. So. Mm.